Good evening. I'd like to open the uh, Deerfield Planning Board meeting to be held August 15th, 2017 at 7.30 here at the Town Hall in Deerfield. The agenda for tonight is to look at the minutes of the previous meeting, any public comment, and then uh, we have two pieces of old business. One is the uh, continuation of the site plan review public hearing for 247 Greenfield Road. It's a site plan review for construction of self-storage facility. And the second item is a site plan review for new business repairing, restoration, and sales of RVs on 707 Greenfield Road. Again, the continuation of a, of a public hearing for a site plan review. Uh, then any other business not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the posting of the meeting. We'll set a date for the next meeting and then we'll adjourn. Anything else for the agenda? We have a quorum, Max, myself, John, Kip, and Roger, and Sarah uh, Campbell is our technical assistance person tonight. Um, so we actually have minutes from um, last week's meeting on uh, August 7th, so let's review that because it actually pertains to tonight's agenda as well. Rather brief minutes for a two and a half hour meeting. <laughs> That's good. Um, I, I would just want these. I just want the uh, the minutes to reflect that we. Each of these was the continuation of a public hearing. That started the month before, so that should be stated in here. Okay. It says, it says hearing was continued, but not public. Hearing. Yeah, and then just okay. I'll just have her add that uh, that uh, the continuation of the site plan review public hearing was opened, and then it was continued. So I just, make a motion that we accept the minutes with the changes from August 7th, 2017. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Four, zero, zero. I'd like to uh, continue the public hearing. Uh, it is this one. Continue the public hearing at the request of Brent Ennis, uh, DBA Ideal Storage, for a site plan review property located at 247 Greenfield Road for construction of a self storage facility. This was uh, begun on uh, the hearing opened on July 10th was continued on August 7th, and then we're continuing it to tonight. So can the uh, applicants want to come up and we'll see where we're at. So I just handed out to the, um, to the planning board members. We had um, Pat Smith from the Council of Governments had, um, was doing our administrative review for the site plan and the stormwater permit, and she wrote a report and a draft decision, so I just handed that out. Actually, did you? I, I printed it out I, You know, well. she got to me just in time, and so I was like, <laughs> I'll do it. But thank you for okay. volunteering and doing that. Yeah. And then we also, um, Sarah Campbell's here to give us her uh, review of the technical aspects of the, 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 the changes in the plan. So, you know, I think we spent a lot of time the last two months, so we don't want to get go into everything. So I think right. if we just mm -hmm. hit the hit the things that we kind of left last meeting mm -hmm. with questions, and I know the biggest one was the pavers. So maybe, um, I don't know who wants to, you want to start with that, and then we'll hear from Sarah. Yeah. Everybody um, remembers the, uh, and this is partly because in order to uh, sort of qualify for pervious surface, you've got to have good drainage through your, uh, through your parking lot. Sarah's report um, right here. And Sarah's report. 
Actually, okay. I'd go with her if that's what's in front of them. Yep. I'm just uh, figuring out where to start, but um, yeah, pick so. up, but we're going to walk through by reference with what you have in front of you, which is uh, uh, Pat Smith's uh, synopsis of where we stand right now. All right. I think that's All right. a, probably a, a good place to start. Yep. So, just so I know, we're all looking at the same thing. This is the final draft that's dated for today, 815, correct? Yep. Okay. So, um, I guess if we go to required permits. So, if we start first with the required permits on page five, um, the stormwater permit application has been filed um, as of 814. And just, actually, that's so that should be in my possession, right? Um, Max, you want to look at what you're what you have in front of you? Is that yeah, I believe that's it right there with the hard copies, um, maybe in that folder. So, those, yeah, that's the uh, stormwater management report, and I believe the application might be in there. Beautiful, and it says that it was received and the check was submitted. And Nice. All right, and then we got the, the report. Yep. Great, thanks. So um, if we go to the page six, we're going into the individual comments. I guess we'll go with the first one. It says um, existing and proposed buildings and structures, including fences, loading areas, accessory buildings, uh, blah, 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 blah. So it's originally said partially met. And now it says met electrical service has been added to sheet D 1.0 drainage plan showing a connection to the utility pole across the street. Additional notes have been added to sheets U 1.0 and 1.1. So um, is this the that is the most recent. Ooh, got the date on it. Yep. So, so uh, <laughs> it was originally so originally it was revision four, and I was able to talk to Patricia just in time before this meeting. I believe it was like around five or five thirty, and uh, I made these changes today before the meeting, and that would be revision five. But the only changes that were really met were um, a call out for the proposed electrical service on Route five and ten, and the proposed water service connection, which is also on Route five and ten. So what she was referencing there was the utility connection, the electrical service, and that can be shown clearly on D1.0. And we're just connecting to that utility pole across the street. So again, that would be coordinated with the local utility company, but it's showing where that goes in. Did you say D1.0. So that's actually the drainage plan. But there's also no on the utility plan. The utility plan, for all intents and purposes, is more the septic plan. I mean, it really specializes in the septic system. But I wanted to show all the utilities on that. Because that plan got so convoluted, I wanted to show it on the full-scale, full-sized plan sheet on D1.0. Yep, so there's a note. Uh, it should be next to the, you can see the call-outs that are on the very bottom of the right-hand side. So on the right-hand side of the plan. And next to the stamp, the additional notes referencing the water service. Good. So um, if we look at the second comment. Well, actually, if I could just nope. circle back to John's for a second. John, you were wondering about the pavers, as I recall. Yeah, yeah so well, that's on page. Seven, so paragraph three, I'll let you pick up. Yep, yeah. so th that was you know, a major concern. It was show we're showing a more porous option um, now with the, the new revision. Originally, I think it referenced um, stone dust to be used between the pavers, mm -hmm. and we're now using a number nine quarter inch stone, so P stone, um, and the bedding material is also, I think it's three A's. I don't have it in front of me, but. I think it's a 3A stone. Yep, number eight aggregate. Um, so yeah, that's showing a more porous option. 
And that's also changed on the cross sections as well. So, so can we just hear from Sarah? You, so, you yeah, looked so at this. Yeah, that's what we were talking about last time. It's going to let a lot more water through when it becomes, uh, I think, in compliance with your requirement for permeability. Uh, so it won't it won't get compacted. No, because um, it's a rounded stone, so it won't lock in the way yeah. that a stone dust mm -hmm. would. Yeah. Also, I added a note for. Um, the types of so we're specifying a the ideal pa ideal pavers it's actually the name of the company for <laughs> kind of a coincidence <laughs> um ideal pavers <laughs> aqua <Bic> <laughs> 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 uh ideal pavers aqua brick four and that's it's a porous brick as well you can you, they have demonstrations of it where you can pour water on the brick and it just soaks right through. So is that stated on this plan or is that? Uh, that's right next to the detail on DT 1.4. So if you go to the detail sheet uh, 1.4, it's towards the back. It's just a notes notes that, that's put in there. And maybe I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit, but yeah. So this is what you were looking at, the aggregate and stuff we're going to use in here? Right. All right, so the, the lower uh, the, the material that's being set in was changed, the material between the bricks and changed, and they listed a brick type. Great. Henry, what's the next comment? We're on page seven. Uh, yeah. Um, would you like us to go back and go through everything? Yeah, just actually maybe just zip through. The other thing was actually we were just getting at the electrical service there on page six. You got uh, snow storage area. Yep. So again, that was so, something we all talked about last month, last week. Yep. So the snow storage area has been added. It's pretty much shown on every plan, but the layout plan, also the drainage plan, shows the snow storage area in that top left-hand corner. But that's called out on the plans now. So. Um, so I guess the, one of the other, in extreme conditions, can we require that snow be trucked off of site? And that's acceptable with us. Uh, yeah. I mean, because just there is there was some concern yeah, about I mean, the limited space back there. If although you're get a huge storm, yeah. we're not going to shut down business for lack of right. hauling the snow away. Yeah. You know, so we're happy to, we do that anyhow, we're happy to agree to that. All right. I mean, our, again, as we've heard, the main thing is not to be pushed back so far that it starts to go on neighbor's exactly. property. So mm -hmm. great. So the next comment would be no building elevations or renderings for this specific project have been provided. No information is provided regarding planned signage. Uh, this has been met. Um, so the renderings of the existing facility were shown. So we gave you guys basically an exterior uh, of the building elevations, what the project would look like under. Yeah. Um, so, and we have very little signage. There's no signage. There's yeah, Brent's not planning on any signage at this yeah. point. I know, we, we kind of, what if we have some concern? It'd be nice to have some, so people, just directional at least. Direction. I mean, just identifying your, the name of your company somewhere. Street number, something that. Oh, I'm sure there'll be a street number. Yeah. Post we can put a sign on the building, a street number, but again, honestly, I'm not concerned about the sign saying uh, the name of the business on the building. We haven't had one for. Yeah, I guess just for I mean, just more for identification purposes. If someone's wondering who who's operating that, more place, if they a can truck driver is looking for a spot to pull into, they they realize it's the self storage or your moving yeah. company. Yeah. Well, if we did go, you know, you know, we'll, we'll discuss that along the line. But certainly, whatever we would do would have to be compliant. Yeah, I mean, I guess we don't require. Yeah, 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 it's not a requirement, but like a street number probably would be helpful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, water provision. Um, originally it said not met, and now it's saying met. A water service line to the office building is now shown on D1.0 drainage plan. So this is on yep. revision five. Uh, so if you turn to a D1.0, there's also been notes added to sheets 1.0, U1.0, and 1.1. So we have a call out for that, um, identifying the location of the services. So, 
Good. Um, so storm drainage originally said partially met. Now it's been met. DT 1.4 right. now includes a reference to the specific type of permeable paper. Yep, so that's what we, so that was what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. um, so, so this is the one that, that we talked about these trees and plants, and yep. we kind of just want to know where they are. Uh, Pat says it's partially met. I think we're not. Do, do we want any more detail about the specific names and types of plants, or are we good? Yeah, I think we're good with that. So we'll call that one met. Yeah. Um, um, so the next one, the photometrics. Um, now it's being. It said it's being met. Photometric diagram has been submitted. So that was a question about light posts. Are they on the plans? So Henry, do you want to? Because oh, the, that's, well, the photometric plan is different than the. Yeah, this is. I guess we'll, let's call it a, a left hand, not necessarily following it the right. Yeah. Hand is doing kind of thing. Yeah. So the long and short of it is, is that um, we do desire the uh, the lighting. Uh, you know, the lights that are depicted on the photovoltaic plan. They just didn't make it onto the site plan. So I know what Pat has gone ahead and done in her prospective, uh, you know, draft decision for the board to consider tonight is to make the installation of the lights in accordance with the photovoltaic okay. plan a condition of the approval. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a rather clever way of addressing the issue, <laughs> if you ask me. You know? So, all right. And the, um, and Pat didn't have a, a problem. It seemed like there was one place you couldn't exactly tell if it was going outside the footprint, but it was so close and such a low level light that it wasn't an issue. Mm -hmm. half of, uh, yeah. One half of one foot candle, I think, yeah. was the issue. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so that we'll talk, we'll look at when we get to the decision. Then. It should be noted all the lights are shown on the buildings. So they were put in the buildings. We're talking about the individual light posts. So we're talking about seven light yeah. posts that are scattered throughout the site. Yeah. Uh, since the light post was done, or the, I'm sorry, the, the photometric plan, that was done independently. So it was just a coordination issue between getting that on the layout plan right. and, um, you know, putting on there. Because that, that could have changed, you know, independently based off of what he, the um, electrician, was doing for the photometric yeah. plan, changing around. We wanted to have a final lighting plan and, um, like Patricia said, she said, you know, it would be passed conditionally, or um, right. what's, yeah. what's the proper term? Uh, Just one of the conditions. Yeah. One of the conditions to the approval, which, like I say, I think is a very clever way of making sure that we have a plan that does show the light fixtures where they're going to go, mm -hmm. and everybody is in agreement that that's where we want them to go, and we all know <laughs> that thanks to the lighting plan, it's a non-issue as far as... Uh, uh, you know, spillover. Spillover, that's the main thing. Which is yeah. the important issue, you know. All right, and then you get your signage, your application fees are all set. So, and then we get into the stormwater, which is pretty much the same issues, right? Uh, it's very much the same issues, yeah. No landscaping. Okay, that's the same thing. You do have diagrams of where you're going to put the garden up front. Yep. Right. Yeah, we have the location of the Whatever proposed rain garden. I mean, I think any, you know, landscaper who's going to, you know, in, be installing the plants would have an idea of, yeah. you know, how to do it. I'm not a landscape architect, so I didn't want to, you know, specify certain plants in a certain location. Um, yeah. But we have the, we have the p approved planting lists also, um, you know, details regarding that, so. All right. All right, does anybody have any questions? Nope. Any other items? No, looks good. So being a, still being a public hearing, is there any um, comments from the public? About 247 Greenfield Road. Yes, sir. Thank you. 
Right. Did you look at that, Sarah? I didn't think of it as a question because the majority of it will be under buildings and you've got to have decent structural fill under the building in order to put a foundation on it. So I don't think anybody would propose to put clay in under the building. So it's The existing material is pretty poor on site, so we're assuming that the fill would probably be better than you know, the existing material. I mean, it's mostly silt. I think it's so. The question is, what kind of fill? Yeah. Yeah. That's specified. Yeah. Some of that in the section for the pavement to the depth that, that has to be bedded, but it's his site. Oh, that's, that's the demo. So is it is it cited on here anywhere? Or? So Green, if we look at the detail for the, um, you can look at the cross section details showing the different types, the different layers. Yeah. Is that the so if you plan? go to um, DT 1.5, or you can go to the detail sheet showing the um, the bituminous detail. I mean, you need a foot of gravel subbase, which would be compacted. Um, But like my father said, you know, you need decent structural material for the buildings as well as the roadway. I mean, the whole entire site is either yeah. roadway or structure. I mean, it's, there's very little, like, you know, open space fill areas where, you know, it's not specified. And where the septic system is, that's all select to the landlord. Exactly. So pretty much anything that would be brought in would be more pervious than what's there, which is, I think, a sea soil. Exactly. Right. That's what we want to hear. That's, that's good news. Right. Yep. Is there another follow-up question, or is that? Well, like my father said, uh, that area is mostly occupied by the septic area. There's a snow storage area, and then we have basically a giant pit where the... Uh, detention area is oh. so you know for the most part it's all select sand fill specified mm -hmm. and the detention area is going to have yeah it's going to in the fill that i mean it's probably some of the poorest material that's there for existing additions yeah. so let us know if you get extra water on the fields, but uh, I mean that's that's they're, they're they're not allowed to put more water onto neighboring properties. So, uh, any other comments? All right. Any other questions? Planning board. Any other comments from you guys? No, I think. Uh, I think so. uh, I'd like to thank the board for uh, all their time and effort and particular consideration and having this meeting eight days after the prior meeting and uh, we appreciate you recognizing her <laughs> I realize this is August yeah <laughs> a lot of people thank you we, we, so, lucky we got a quorum oh, we appreciate so. your helping out in that regard and I right. think at the end result we have what is intended with this whole process which is a better plan for it you know so thank you good all right, I'd take a motion to close the public hearing, and then we would move on to the decision. I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. I'll second it. Any uh, comments? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 
abstain. All right, so we, the public hearing has been closed, so we can't take any new information. So I would suggest the board now deliberate and come up with our decision, which we have a draft in front of us. Um, so most of it goes over everything we just, uh, well, it kind of highlights what we just talked about. Um, it talks about during construction, all local, state, and federal laws have to be followed regarding noise, vibration, dust, blocking of town roads, all those kind of things. Um, we do have a zoning enforcement, an action would be taken if anything was violated. Um, and then basically that we're saying that the applicant will construct, operate, and maintain the facility, the self-storage facility according to the site plan dated today, August 15th. Um, if we would like, we could add a condition that seven light poles shall be installed around the perimeter of the site as shown in the photometric diagram. Um, Right, it's, it's, so basically what we're saying is that um, the, the photometric diagram becomes part of the site plan too. Mm -hmm. That's what we're saying there. It's, just, it's not drawn on here. So. And then also in the event uh, that extreme conditions resulting in snow on site in excess of what can be safely stored in the designated snow storage areas, applicants shall make arrangements for snow to be trucked off site to a disposal facility. You're happy with so, um, and then this is actually uh, in, very important to the town too. Within 60 days of completion of construction of the project, applicants shall submit as-built drawings to the Deerfield Biz uh, Building Commissioner. Because right, that was, mm -hmm. sometimes things change and we have the wrong, we end up with the wrong uh, as-builts. And then the stormwater is, um, operations, we, we make reference to the operations and maintenance plan, which we have uh, in front of us, that we would like to add that the town of Deerfield shall, shall have access to the site for inspection and maintenance of the stormwater management system as needed, as specified in the following provision included in the Stormwater Management Report Operations and Maintenance Plan. That's been added to the uh, Stormwater Management Report. There's a, um, I think it's, instead of the Stormwater Management Easement Agreement, it's renamed to Stormwater Management Access Agreement, I want to say. A anyways, it's been added to the uh, Stormwater Management Report, and I can, that would be on the latest. Um, I. It's um, on the PDF version. I think that's an older version that you might have there. Um, and right, this is revision two, but you've got yeah, the, it's on uh, revision three. All right, yeah, so that's, that's this is August fifteenth. All right, yeah, that's what Pat's citing. It's revision right. three, dated August fifteenth. Right. Yes. So the main thing is that the town of Deerfield or its agents have the authority to exactly. um, to inspect annually the stormwater management system for compliance. Um, with the operations and maintenance plan, best practices, and ensure proper functionality. And those that agents could be the building inspector, the DPW, planning board. Right. Um, did, did we want this? So, so actually, so as long as this is in the in here, it doesn't need to be in our decision. But let's just refer to it because okay. we don't have access to this right now. The other thing is the applicants shall submit an operations and maintenance budget for recommended maintenance activities prior to the issuance of an occupancy permit for the self-storage facility. Mm -hmm. So again, so you got some months and you come up with a general budget. The stormwater operation and maintenance logbook shall be submitted for their review to the Building Commissioner, Department of Public Works, Planning Board, Conservation Commission on an annual basis, not later than 30 days following the end of the calendar year. So is that in there or? We'll leave that here. Um, uh, it just says that you'll submit the logbook uh, to the town. Yep. Annually. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there would be a logbook that you would hang on to, and the maintenance and inspection logs would be yeah. upon your request. But that's included in the, the logbook. Mm. So he's saying that it should be submitted 
annually, not that you have to wait till they request it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. In other words, the way Pat has written it up is acceptable with us, which All is right. we have to submit it to the town. The town doesn't have to ask us yeah. for it. And this is a similar language we did um, with Cumberland Farms there. Remember that one? So it's, it's, it's I think, it's something for some of the larger sites on town. We kind of want to just make that a normal procedure. Mm -hmm. Sure. And then a certificate of completion. All right, so that pursuant to section 11.0 of the stormwater regulation of the town of Deerfield, applicants shall certify that the project is in accordance with plan specifications and shall provide, shall provide inspections to adequately document compliance. Um, upon its receipt and approval of the final inspection and reports and or upon otherwise determining that all the work was completed in conformance with the regulations, planning board slash stormwater authority will issue a letter certifying completion. All right. So anything else we want to have in our decision or does someone want to make a motion to accept this decision? We make a motion that we accept the site plan review and the stormwater permit as we discussed tonight. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. Excellent. Can we get one of these to sign? Yeah, I just wrote on this one. So, well, um, actually, I mean, it's got the yellow in there, but I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, we, we, I think um, I think we're gonna sign it. Yeah, let's we'll use this. Pick, we'll pick yeah. this one. Yeah. Pen. I'm not sure there is a. Uh... Yeah, I mean, ideally, it would take the yellow off of there, but I don't think it matters. I think with everything they've been through, they're not gonna mind the yellow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking if there's really not a lot of yellow on. The signature page, so maybe Pat could provide a clean copy for the board. Yeah, yeah, we, that's true. And you we could, could just yeah. substitute pages. Let me roll this up, this goes with it. It has to go for it eventually. I got my phone. Okay. Excellent. So we will submit this to our town clerk tomorrow, mm -hmm. and um, she needs to stamp it or something. Um, no, I don't want to. I may have been slightly asleep, but um, believe it or not. That we said you have to, you owe us a lot of money or something. No, no, no. What I was wondering about is, um, is I heard you vote on the stormwater permit, but I didn't hear you vote on the uh, site plan application. Uh, that was the motion. Yeah, the motion was site plan review and stormwater permit so decision. For yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't want to have to come back for good. No. So we're, yeah. Since we're the authority for the stormwater, we can, yeah, we, we can do that. So we'd rather do it okay. that way. That's fine. Site plan review and stormwater. Yeah, and you said that in the motion. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure. Good. Good question. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you'll, you. um, so I think you follow up with the town clerk then just to get yes. this. So, uh, uh, you'll be filing that tomorrow and we'll pick it up from there. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank Excellent. You. Thank you. Oh, let's get, uh, well, we know your name, so, okay. So you're, yeah, you're not on the next one, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. Bye. Bye.
All right. A little bit of paperwork. All right, I would like to open, uh, continue the public hearing for the site plan review uh, at the, the re mm -hmm. at, uh, yeah, for, um, at the request of Two Feathers Restoration and Design LLC for site plan review of the property of 707 Greenfield Road on which to operate a business for repairing, restoration, and sales of RVs. Uh, the site plans have been available. We opened this hearing, the public hearing, on July 10th. We continued it on August 7th, and we're continuing it now on August 15th. So, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi again. Uh, Christy Bodine, the attorney for the applicant. And the applicant. And Brian Hudson representing the business, Two Feathers. Thank you. And we have plans for you. You had requested a copy of the exist of showing the existing conditions. Is that um No, these are addition to these are new. All right. So we split them up as you had made mention these are July last 10th, week. So, yeah. so you have better clarity on what was previous and what's presented. Yeah, you can hold one and we can refer. Yep. Which ones are these? This is the proposed ones to show where the, where the gravel is going to be and all of the, the additional detail that you would want to see. Good. Yeah, if we can just get two up here. So this is existing? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Two's good. Oh, then give them that. Well. So is this lighting plan better than the one the last time? It's the, same. the same exact. But it's got pictures of the pictures in it. So there's, there's two each of each of, of each of those sheets. So. Oh, I see. This is that lighting map, which I don't understand, but um, the number is representing how bright the lights are that ever I know, but can you see them? Yeah, it just shows the erosion control barrier. You don't have a larger uh, lighting plan. Do unfortunately, you? Staples failed us today and told us they could not print today. So, unfortunately, that's the we biggest I can print. Yeah. We sent them stuff two hours prior to this meeting, and they still couldn't get stuff printed. So you don't have a larger one. 
No. I have only connected the dots to give a little idea for myself, but. <laughs> yeah, I can give you my connected dots one. He's hand drawn the where the changes are in the lighting. Based on these numbers, you were yeah. able to read the numbers or something? Yeah, or? He was able to read the numbers and, and he picked the outline of how far out Because usually there's like the other guys before us, they had a they show where it's bright and where it's dimmer and That's dimmer. Right. And it, that does depict that. I know, but so I'm not sure what that blue line is. Is it the That's bright light or the... That, you can't, there's no light. That's there's no where the light stops. That's where the light stops. All right. That's the idea of that. All right. See, I can read this. It says 2.0, then it comes to 1.3, then 0.7, then 0.3, then 0.2, then 0.1, then down to zero. Okay, so you can see zeros around the... Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's all, all zeros right. around the outside. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, so that's what we want to hear. All right, so let's, why don't we get, jump into the, so some of the biggest questions were the, um, were the drain. Um, so I should say that the building inspector was out there last Friday. week, yeah. last Friday, and I, I was able to join him for a little bit, and we talked about the, the, the screen. So right now, this is a very low area all in front of the building here, um, and it, so, so, so everything would go to this drain, which then goes out to here, which we had concerns about. So we talked about cutting this pipe and making it just a, uh, a just a, 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 basically a leaching, yeah, just have it leach into the surface there so it's not going off the property anywhere. And that was partly, you, you, you're going to, you were adding, so you've got on here, you're adding gravel to, right. to, to raise it up. So right. this, this plan doesn't have that change? It doesn't have the cut in the pipe. It doesn't have the cut in the pipe, but... Uh, well, it still has the other area. option. The other, the other option that we, he had talked about is actually capping the drain. Well, that's what he's talking about. Right, right? It's capping yeah. it. But yeah. he wanted it. He was asking if this depicts that, which it doesn't. Yeah. So we were talking about just. Uh, but and, because and no decision has been made on it, film. there was no sense adding that in. Right. Because uh, CONCOM felt there was no reason to do anything with the drain in its current status, so that's why it's still in the plan as they approved it. So that's a big, um, that would be a and you mentioned on, change that I can see. You mentioned on Friday that stick that you saw down below, that's the delineation stick that you saw of where the wetlands was. And the property actually goes further out beyond that. Because your concern was is it was uh, dropping water onto an adjacent property, which it is technically not because it's still on our property. Well, so but that was a little it detail to, to your property, bring up. But it, it's going to go on to another property. There's nothing down there. To Into the it. stream that's there, correct, yeah, eventually. Yeah. Um, and then there was the whole issue of, um, you know, other things going in here besides just stormwater also. And there's no hazardous material on the site. I mean, that was, a, that was that's already was determined with the, with the site plan and with the CONCOM. There's, there's no hazmat outflow at all. Um, he's not using anything that... Right, but it's going to be vehicles. Just vehicles. as any other parking yeah, lot. Yeah, any other parking lot. It's right. The same type of... Right, and we don't let any other parking lot just drain out. Right. And this, isn't a, you know, you know, this so has been an existing, absolutely. so yeah. Right, and so it, this is the time to improve it. Yeah. So this is the increased area of gravel. There. And the stormwater, you know, your criteria in terms of the storm, storm, extent of stormwater flow increased from the site, I don't, there, I don't think any of these changes are going to increase the stormwater outflow from the site. I, I, no. I, I don't know what, he's, what he would be doing that would increase the stormwater outflow it because the, the topography of the site is essentially remaining the same. So if anything, you know, with the leaching field added and the, and the, and the Wood chips, and I would think that there would be less outflow of stormwater from the site with what he's. Well, doing no, because he's, he's, he's talking about raising it up and making it more level. Right now, all that's all if we stormwater that's if we have to address the drain. Correct. Yeah. Otherwise, with the removal of the existing pad out front, 
you're cutting that back to only 14 feet from the actual existing structure, uh, then you're just recontouring that particular space back. So it would be the same contour if we were to leave the drain as it is now. We just you know go down just a little bit so we can add the gravel. But if we were to cap it, then we can bring up the uh, grade a little bit, make it a little smoother mm -hmm. transition. As you saw, how, how there is a quite a bit of a elevation if we were to leave that existing pad there, which right. is not in our intent. Right. At the same time, when we address the the flow, if we need to remove the drain, is going to require us to then raise the existing driveway area and create a berm between the property to the north and to us because majority of the existing uh, drainage is coming from the adjacent property. So that would have to be something to address so that way once we install this gravel, it's not going to come embedded with road debris such as dirt. All right, I'm not clear on that, but um, or, or I think the main issue is not having just this direct pipe out, out to, to go to the, either the wetlands or the neighboring property, right? That just doesn't make sense. Well, I mean, that's what we're always talking about, is not, not draining on other people's property. Um, and that was the uh, advice of building inspectors. Uh, building inspector, would you... <laughs> Care to come forward? I couldn't hear your whole conversation. Well, we're just talking about that we, I, I, we're discussing recommending uh, capping the pipe that sends the water off to the wetlands and then potentially off to a neighbor's property and making this just basically like a leach field. Yep. Um, and Steve Barrett, if you're listening. <laughs> We had a, I had a conversation with Steve over that, and he agrees with just what you just said. All right. That was the, that was the last conversation I had with Steve about it. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he felt that plugging the pipe would eliminate anything from getting discharged into the wetlands area rather yeah. than just have a drywall system mm -hmm. right at the thing. Yeah. So. Which, That's simple enough to do. Yeah. yeah. Then we'll just have to address the drainage from neighboring properties onto ours. Which again, that's that's not part of this thing. We just want to make sure right. the water that's on the property stays right. on the property. Right. So that seems to be the best answer for that. Yeah, okay. that, that's um, exactly, John. What the pipe doesn't do now is it shoots it off down the bank and down. The, right. So. All right. So that's uh, that's a change, and then the other ones are. Um, okay. So we've got the stockade, the eight-foot stockade fence. And that's on both sides, right? Yeah, yeah the elevation there picture will show you that. Do you see there? Fence. Oh, okay. foot gate. Here. And the dumpsters, where's the fence? Behind. The dumpsters behind the fence. Behind the fence, the fence on, yeah. a, on its own pad. The fence yeah. comes right along here. Okay. And they'll replace the one we have now with wheels so we can wheel it out. And then the wood chips in the back was was fine. It's fine with the conservation yeah. commission. Yep. But that you'll also be parking vehicles back there too. Correct. Right? Yep. And they authorize for a couple of the stumps that are a little too high yet to be trimmed down a little bit, so we can make it a smooth surface back there. And then, I guess that's the other thing. So is this have these are also parking spaces in front of the stockade fence, aren't they? You have on the left side of the building. There's two of them on as you as your. That would be the sales so, sort of the area. Side, yeah. Yeah. So you're talking to the left of the uh, septic tank area. There's two spaces or three. Spaces. Right. So that grass to area would be all sales area. But I'm, I guess I'm interested in part in. Parkings in the parking gravel spaces. area. How many vehicles would be parked in the, on the property? It's customer in front of parking the as opposed to in progress parking. All of the work, all the vehicles that are being worked on, and and serviced are have to be behind the fence or right. in the garage. Right. So Correct. any parking mm -hmm. that's out front is going to be, um, you know, either and there's the employee parking in the back too. So what's out front is going to be customer parking. And how many are there then? Uh, I believe okay. we had eight. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five, you have six. eight. Yeah. Which is according to Dick, more than what's needed. 
Well, then you have 15 retail, I mean, excuse me, 12, 12 retail spots. There's 12 display spots, right? Display, yeah, display, yeah. John, I'm making a comment about the parking. Yes. Are you going to distinguish, I'm asking a question now. Yeah. Are you going to distinguish parking between customer parking and retail sales parking for a camping trailer, for example? Right. You're going to distinguish those as spaces? Well, that's what I'm trying to get at here. I'm okay. not sure what I think. There's if no you do, I would appreciate it if you mark, if those spaces, I haven't seen that map. If they're marked out on the map, I'd like you to label them as such. Yeah, there's two designated, as, you, as Dick had requested, two 40-foot parking spots yeah. out of the four that are across the front there near the driveway. You'll see two smaller ones, and as you go in further, it's there, you have the two RV spots, so it makes more sense if somebody pulls in, they can back right into that. I was specifically concerned about a camping truck bringing in a trailer and having a big enough space so that truck could park, turn around, and get back out of there. Yeah. Right. Instead of just having a regular car space. Right. Okay. That was the whole yeah. discussion with that. So these should be labeled then as... Uh, well, as they're labeled such, as 40 as feet by 12. If you look at the, where the driveway comes in and you look to the left on the plan, you see the 40-foot... 40, 40 by 12. 40 and by the 12. 12. Okay, 40 and then by over here, they're 10 25. by... Right. 10 by 25. Right, the 10 <clears throat> by 25 are regular spaces. And then, the, and then what's over the leach field? Those, are, those should have been taken out by the... Um, yeah, those those were supposed to be missed removed. That when they when they redraw the plan, those yeah. are not going to so be. There's not, no parking. Yeah, those, those ones we eliminated. And then these up here are just the 28 by 10. So those are just right. more correct more vehicles. Need any leach field answers or septic answers, Mr. Ceruta is back there in the background. To, we did the design. Yes. Is that tank? What's the tank rated for? For driving on, not driving on. Well, those those aren't those aren't supposed to show as parking, but they, they should have been taken. I'm talking off. about running it over in general. Well, it's not H20 loading, but you can get the WD10 uh, minimal. Yeah, it's not going to be cost. Otherwise, it's about fourteen thousand pounds. So that's yeah. that's the uh, septic tank you're talking, about, which is right in the middle of it. If you had to drive over, if you right, had to drive over. and the septic tank is designed so it's in like a little bit of an island space. So I have no intentions of having people drive over that. But over the leach field, you know, we've uh, I think that's two one spots those. that can be potential that drive over the leach field area. And I think that's one of the things that, you know, you kind of have to leave a little responsibility to the owner to, to protect that. Right. Sure. Because he's going to be the one that suffers if somebody drives exactly. over and crushes it. But that's what I'm not, so I'm not, oh, so this is, this is it? Yeah, the little, yeah. the little X. Okay, I'm seeing the words here, but then I'm not seeing, okay, so that's the, the arrow. The little oh. X is the right, tank, right, other right. than the little open X would be the dump station. It's a really small system because it's they don't need much. It's you know yeah. it's for a yeah. toilet and a. And then there's a pipe. So the pipes are over here to get it to the leach field. Right. And I've, when I had there's the plan no drawn, I depict, had them purposely make it where it is able to be driven over. The pipes. The pipes exactly. Yeah. Uh, the tank being an island, there should be no concern. Yeah. So this plan doesn't show that pipes, but I guess yeah. it's pretty obvious. You get yeah. the tank there and you get that there. I just want to point out one thing, and Mr. Ceruta, I need to have him answer a question for you. Not a commercial dump station, an occasional dump station to empty a repaired trailer, correct? You didn't design this for a dump station for people to drive in, dump no. their stuff, and leave. I don't want that No, it's only clarified. for use of the, of the yeah, service vehicles. Just for occasional. And the bathroom. Yeah, right. and the bathroom. Yeah. That's if he brings a vehicle in and has sewerage in it. Before you work on it, yeah, yeah. 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 dump it before right. it works. On it. Yeah, so that would be a. I think that's a condition. It'll be a locked cap that's on it. Yeah. So that way we right. can control that. Right. And then landscaping. And so again, there's the elevation drawings show the proposed. Yeah. Um, can you, uh, can you look at that you got a little bit? Two of those. Yeah. There's shrubs and a planter um, either side of the building in the front. Any questions about this? No. Now, one of the questions you had brought up before was to depict the tree that I want to replant. So that is depicted on that new plan, um, kind of that little elbow there uh, to the left of the building there. You can see where he's got kind of like a flower shape there depicting the, uh, it says proposed oh, three, three, foot, inch, three, three foot, inch maple. Yeah, three inch maple. Yeah.
It's a view from east. So I'm not quite clear what, what all this is. This but is if you're standing looking in the parking lot, and this is just the same picture, just further out from the road. Yeah. Yeah, so you see the one tree that's depicted that belongs to the state that's that's staying. That's this one here. Unless they and do something with it. You see that wooden fence here, which you wouldn't see there. It's the view of the building. At this point, you're standing by that fence. All right, but it's... But it, the fence goes all the way to the um, to the slope. Right. So why here it doesn't look like the fence goes all the way to well, the. Well, I think it's. What it happens is a stockade fence drops down to a lower height fence, a chain link fence. So it's kind of hard to depict on a color picture like that. So we want to put a little small four foot fence along there so nobody goes over the bank if they're if you have kids running around or otherwise. So this is kind of curving in then. Right. Yeah. It's coming in here. So that way, essentially, you have a fence that follows the contour of that okay. flat area. Other questions, comments? What do you think? Oh. I'm good. Max, what do you see on this? Oh, here, here, the location of the septic tank that you're capping idea right makes more sense. Intersect. It, the, the pipes cross each other, yeah. Yeah, because once yeah, you're, once you're you digging it up, it. you're already there. Oh, yeah, yeah. And what about existing wood on the um, north? Yeah. yeah. What's going along the north side? The north side, you still have a stockade fence that will go up to the point of the existing bushes and transition to a chain, chain link fence that would go around the uh, building, essentially. And on the, there's, some, there's some hedges on the north side right near the building, but then how about more in front there? It's just there's a wood post and rail fence? This it's is your stockade fence. So same thing that's depicted in the uh, picture that you have there. Um, only the front side's going to have the turquoise painted on the top. The side wouldn't. Um, but it'd be the same stockade fence going down. On the north property line? Right, along the property line. Back to where the bank drops up and then it... No, no, no. No, no, that's the south. The I'm looking at the north. Oh, at the hedge. Oh, okay. Into a chain link. Chain link fence. Oh, okay. I see. Right, I guess I'm talking in front, in front of the, uh, the building. It's all oh, you're, talk you're talking. Um, it's just the, the, that little the, the little corner, if you will. Yeah, yeah. That'll just be like a little I think spot where I can put some blueberry bushes or something. Just so, to soften so no, it a little bit. We don't have a landscaping plan for that. Well, it's shown on the elevation drawing. Yeah. The planter is shown on the elevation drawing. Yeah, or put a hedge or something right there. That Soften it. Well, there's an Am existing. I don't know. There's a, uh, the existing wood fence, but the easement is. Oh. There's nothing in the planners. There's here. nothing in planners on this one here, but I was thinking blueberry bushes or something. The 20 foot easement that's on your property is for the neighbor's use. That's correct. That's correct. correct. But yet there's a fence there. Pre existing. Pre existing. How do you deal with if the neighbor wants to utilize the easement? It's been like that for years, and it's a discussion for me to have with them because I want to look at moving that up to the existing post where it ends. And if that was to, if we agreed upon that, then we can replace that fence because it's starting to get old. Oh, so this easement goes all the way to here? Right. Yeah, it, it goes, it goes back pretty ex here. excessively. Yeah. But, that's but it doesn't affect the stockade fence because we have to start the stockade fence where, mm -hmm. where the uh, variance allows right now. But I guess if there is an easement, you can't, you can't block it unless you had another agreement. I can't add anything new to it, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And then in the front, no landscaping? Not really. Along that fence, yes. along the front, we'll have the bark mulch chips. That's you about mean, it. You're talking along the side of the road? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's just going to be a... a post and rail fence across the front. Yeah, it's a pre-existing 
We'll, well, replace, of, we'll replace the rails that are there now. Um, back, I believe, when it was ZBA, I was wanting to put a brand new fence up. And uh, what they had stated, the current one kind of, the first two rails, now the trees are cleared out, the first two rails are actually on the state side of the line. So what they had stated was if you were to put a new fence up, it needs to make sure it's on your property, which is not an issue. But if we're just repairing what's there for now until we can afford later, that's what we'll have to do. But for now, there'll be bark, ch bark ch uh, you know, wood chips along there to keep the greenery down that's been running ragged there. And otherwise, that's just that just stays remains grass in there. Yeah, yeah. Existing grass. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the state's intent is about the tree that's left behind. It's half dead. Um, I've made a phone call to them, but it has no bearing on our project. So those trees that were cut down, they were on the state's property or on your they property? They were on our property. There was a cluster of trees on his property that he cut down. But there's one tree that's on the other side of the fence that's within the state right away that he can't touch. And yeah. he wasn't planning to touch. So that's showing us a 12-inch 12, 12 deciduous mm -hmm. tree there. That's the Commonwealth tree. <laughs> So the plans that we got by email, uh, I can't see a date on this. These are older now, aren't they? Okay. July 10th, I guess. Yeah. What? What? Those might be old because what you have what you have now was was. Uh, this was just done this week. Uh, since Friday, Friday yeah. This, these were done since the last oh, and this meeting was to address the concerns the that you had. Yeah. All, right. All right, so this is a public hearing, so is there anybody, uh, can I take any comments or questions from the public? Can I take a look at that site plan? Yes, please. Right, and no, nobody's planning to take it out. Okay. Yeah. No. And so I just want to just before yeah, you go, I just, yeah, well, excuse me. So I'm taking the Sorry. words. Sorry. The planning board is taking the public comment, and when we want to get your input, we will ask yeah. politely. Um, but if you could just state your name for the record. Garland, and um, I own the building at 711 Road, which is the property. I have lots of questions. All right, come on up. You can come and look at the. Actually, ideally, we would have had these posted so everybody on I TV could see. But you wanted to you can come look at this. Um, and Randy, you want to state your? Uh, Randy Ames, Ames Electrical Consulting, owner, uh, also at uh, Seven Eleven Greenfield Road. Yeah, so sorry we didn't, uh, we were asking all these questions and you didn't have the things in front of you, but so this stockade fence goes from the, basically the same as the front of the building. Right, it, the stockade right. fence. Well, yeah. on the plans, you'll see on the north side, it actually is not in line with the front of the building. It's actually set back right. um, to meet the easement requirements at the present time. So it's at the end of the easement. Yes. So it's at the end of the easement, oh, then it will follow back. Now, if, if at some point, we agree to change the easement to come up to the end of the existing fence. We'll go ahead and replace that um, existing fence with new material, same as what's there now. But for right now, for the stockade, it is within our requirements, so it's not within that easement area. And the same with the planters, you wouldn't. Right. Yeah. That would. That's actually right in line with the north end wall of that uh, building. So it's just a very small space. And you'll have enough. Oh yeah. Maintain the fence. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it's all, it's going to be all gravel in front, is it, of the fence? You've got yeah. What, so what you saw, what we have oh, right now for grass, and this is will gravel. become gravel on that north side. Here. So fence is going to go from here all the way up, and this is fence too. Yes. The, and yeah. The, so it goes, cuts across, right? That's right. the stockade fence. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. So if we got together, wanted to change that easement, bring it down to where the uh, fence post ends, that's what I'd like to do. We could then move that stockade fence to the corner of the building. 
But for right now, for purposes of the easement where it's at, we would have to put it where it's at now on these plans. Um, so, so it's just going to here to the end of the building? It's not even. It's just side. It's just going to here. It's jogging back just a little bit. It's just going to be a straight, straight across. So that, okay. so that it respects the right. life of the easement. Okay. Right. Yeah. So what it's going to be here is to. Um, so there won't be any fences. So that we're not looking at what you're doing in there. No, there won't. It's just no. It's just the stockade's going to be the back. Okay. Right. So, so here's right. the front of the building. So this this is going to be all open, correct? Right. Yeah. Fence, right. So you see a fence coming up on this side. No, you still have the original fence that we have there now. This is your easement. Now, if we were to change our easement agreement that's on that property, I could bring that eight foot fence further out to hide more stuff, if you will. Um, but as it is right now with the easement, that's why the plans are showing within the parameters that are required for the easement. I also have questions about raising um, and drainage. Um, yep. the, the comment that our water is draining into his place, um, my basic geography of the landscape there, yeah. um, it's a bowl. And water runs into a bowl. Um, and if he raises this thing and he pushes it our way, then we're right. You can't you can't do that. And no. water does collect in the bowl. Uh -huh. Yeah. But it drains. Right. I have pictures of after a rainstorm, right. my parking lot has got water in it, and within a couple three hours, it's mm -hmm. it's gone. So w water will naturally flow right. down. Sure. But and, and he does have a lower property thing, but I don't see. I, I've never seen a huge collection of water over there. Correct. In the 20 years that I've been uh, at right now. And we did witness that the, I mean, even the road slopes, yeah. and so you all get yeah. water from the road. That's right. what happens. Yeah. More, you know, and then yeah. us, and then right. down to the river. Right. So it's, it's, just, it's just what we are. We're yep. in a bowl. You're yep. talking this is a property that used to be all owned by one individual at one time, and that's why it's set up the way it is. The concern we have is if we are to cap the existing, it drains fine right now, coming from his property onto ours, but it's going down the existing drain that's, that you're asking about capping. So if that is to be capped, now I'm going to have a big pool no. out front. And that's the concern. We're well, not saying have. cap the drain. We're saying cap the pipe that sends it into the... But it's only going to hold so much. And it's very small by the looks no. of looking at it. You want, to refer, you want to talk about what we were talking about? Well, one way or another, you're going to have to deal with that drain that's open. Okay, right. To yeah. daylight. So whether you dig up the drain that's there and add stone to it, and let the stone, let the water seep into the ground, percolate under natural conditions or not. That's the only way you can make that determination is to have somebody like the gentleman sitting over there with a nice blue tie yeah. calculate it for you. We don't know how that drain is constructed. I have no knowledge. That's what I would absolutely recommend to the board that he has a guy who's done his septic drawing and stuff. I would have him submit to you some kind of drainage thing. I mean, that, that's what you just made the people predecessors mm -hmm. to him yeah. do. I don't think you need a major stormwater drainage thing, but I just think you need some assurances yeah. to assure the abutters that it's not going to be a problem. It's not only the abutters, it's himself too, because... Yes, exactly. You know, so with the, I, I, I'm not saying it's been $20,000 on the right. drainage plan. I'm saying... Yeah. But what they said and what he said earlier, the water does run off of yeah. their property toward his is lower, and if he fills that up, it's going to displace it to it somewhere runs, else. Runs off the road. But yeah. if you put crushed stone drainage, and yeah. Mr. Right. Scooter, please feel to step in. I don't mind. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> you can do a leaching basin. The, the material is going to be there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And there'll still be a slope, even with your fill there, you're going to maybe level it a little, but it's still going to be the slope. Yeah, because so. even with what yeah. we'd have to, if we were to have to create a berm or something that was suggested by the paving company, it's only to deflect our own personal water. So, yeah, it would disperse their own, but that's their property water. Right. Um, and that would only to alleviate the mud puddle that we have out front right at the moment, right. even though it's not properly draining to the drain. Right. Um, that's our concern is our customers need to come and go, our employees need to come and go, and we don't want to 
okay. mushy mud pit. And that's pretty flat, so you really can't raise that a lot, otherwise water's gonna be in your building. Mm. That's right. Can I just, because I think we have some answers to that. So we notice that also in that they shouldn't be there, right? No, he's entitled for any keep out, no trespassing. Trespassing signs are on his yeah. own property. Mm -hmm. Right, these happen to be on a telephone pole, I believe. And as a state. It's on, you know, well, it's that can be moved, state. that's simple. Yeah. But to address that, you have a 24 hour camera, you're on monitoring, you have the construction and no trespassing. Now I had it on the post that, on that fence that is on my property and one of, I forget who it was, they tore down those signs and, and they explained why they tore them down even though I was standing right there not far off. And it made sense, I understood what he was talking about because I had him posted there. Now their lawn care guy can, tends to park in my property, I spoke to him this last week, um, that once we're open to not, please don't block our driveway. If he just wants to pull up the side, that's fine. But blocking the driveway will be an issue just as like they said, they have uh, delivery guys, UPS or FedEx. There, there's limited parking for what they have. I have no problem with them parking on my lot. That's not a big deal. They're only there momentarily. But as long as they're not parked in a way, it's going to block access to my property. And, and the gentlemen, two gentlemen that were there, were nice enough to say, "Yeah, that that makes sense." Mm -hmm. So those are yeah. So those. And we've talked to Coca-Cola because Coca-Cola is making are. deliveries, and they were doing the mm -hmm. same thing when it comes to blocking things. Mm -hmm. And once we get the individual drivers that come around on par, it won't be an issue. All right, and then you had another one? You all have been to the site many times. I've seen you waving your arms and explaining to Mr. Atherton here of how you want things done. And he has repeatedly, um, he doesn't understand what you want from him, or he is refusing to understand what you want from him. He continues to violate the junk vehicles out there. Um, we are just starting this process, and it's already um, become quite an issue where it's, I, I don't even know how to, how to deal with it. And if it's like this now, where he has disregard for what um, the planning board, the conservation commission, I was here at the meeting, and they told him once he got permission from the conservation to take down three trees, he completely obliterated that site. He completely obliterated that site. The day, the very next day, with no permits. Um, if he can, I, I'd ask the board to go by his house before they, because they had the trailers parked out there mm -hmm. in, in, in Greenfield. I asked the board to think about what was going on and how he lived and what he was going to do when he got here. And he is here. He doesn't have all of his permits in order yet. And he has been told to do A, B, and C, and he's doing X, Y, and Z. I want to know if you guys grant him permits, who's going to, who's going to monitor him? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to run my own, my own business. And, um, I can't be constantly running over there finding out if, if he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. And, and when fences go up, <laughs> who knows what's going to be going on behind that thing there. I, I just want assurances that you guys know what you're doing. And if you're going to give him a permit, given his present, how he is dealing with what you're asking him to do, or do, do you believe that he's going to be able to do that? Because he has not demonstrated the day he got there. Um, and um, I am not anti-business. I'm not, what, what he wants to do over there, if, if he's going to do what he says he's going to do over there, 
and make it look like he says it's good for and that's great. It's good for business. It's good for what's happening on Biden Town. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it could even increase the, the saleability of my building because there's activity there. But if we're going to have to be constantly knocking on the door saying, all right, what you doing? You know, there's a dumpster there. And there was trash all around the dumpster. It's a mini dumpster. It's like, lift the hood, throw the trash in. You know? There's a giant tire from, I don't know, a tractor laying up against the building. Yeah, it was dumped there this past week. And, well, that's not our problem. Yeah, yeah, that's just not my problem. <laughs> yeah, it's Come on, dude. dumped it on your property. It's on your property. And we're looking at it. You got a standing can that we're looking at. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to look at a standing can. You know, um, trust me, I'm, I'm not anti business, like I said. I, I would love to see all of that working and everything working like it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I love, it has been demonstrated. Over these last few weeks, I have serious, serious doubts about this project. Thank you. We can address some of those. <laughs> Any other comments? Comments from the board? I have a, I have a reaction. You did upgrade the plans, but there's still sort of, you know, spots are missing. So if somebody wants to enforce what you're going to do, it could be a little bit more detail, I think. I don't think a lot of the money has to go into it or a lot of sure. effort, but they need to be show a little bit more detail. We've given you what you've asked. What additional detail that. do you want? We gave you all the detail. We thought we gave you all the well, detail the, that you asked for last time, but now. Like Dick said, the, the where parking is going to be for... Uh, sale of vehicles. It's already been determined many times over and over. But it's and not, I don't think it's on the plan, though. It has been addressed numerous times. Um, so there wouldn't be any there, That's That's why it was asked that we, wasn't a requirement, but as a re request of his, which making the before and after is the gravel is the public space, whereas the grass is the sales area. That's been depicted many times in that statement. Yeah, and as you guys have requested things, whether it's this board or a prior one, we've added those to those plans. But do you want another set of plans? Do you want to continue? We just want hearing? to keep coming back no, and having I, additional I things. Wanna, that's all. I don't want to, you know, make it sure costly or anything. But yeah. I don't think it'd be a much to upgrade those plans. Well, I guess is, is that, a, I mean, do we need to come back and bring you another set of plans and have yet another hearing? Is that what you're saying? Can't we have a, a condition on it that, you know, the graveled area as depicted on this plan would be the customer parking? Only? In front of the fence. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can put, I mean, that's, that's an option. We can put what yeah. conditions Because I'm going to have to look at that. It would, it would speak to the number of, of sales units. That's already been in the special permit, the, the ZBA. Yeah, 12. 12, 12 sales units for sale, and that's in the special permit. And, is, and there is room for that? Mm -hmm. Correct, yeah, yes. It is zoned. Yep. And the ZBA did, Christy, just correct, the ZBA did say 12 units, but I believe they added a caveat to that, that you know, subjects to the plan board site plan review. Uh, the only... And I agree with the 12 unit scenario. And if he wants needs or wants more, I would say that he'd have to come back to this board to get more. Mm. Okay. That would be my suggestion. I, I only have one question that's popped up in my mind while you're going over these plans that I haven't looked at recently, but is the green space left? I believe that zone requires 20% green space. I have to go look it up. You mean permeability or green green space, as in grass, shrubbery, etc. Well, you definitely have more than that here. In this, in this I'm just plants. curious. I mean, I don't, I don't want to create a big issue here, but yeah, I'm not sure. That's in our dimensional requirements. Yeah. Want me to go get it? No, I have it here. I I, I just don't <laughs> remember. I have. I always yeah, talk about. Yeah, the green about space throws me off. It, like. We talk John about curvious, but we don't talk about. So okay, I just want to make sure yeah. you guys have got that amount of green space. I don't want somebody coming back to bite us for yeah. we didn't consider that. So I 
maximum lot coverage by impervious. Um, this is C1 or C2? C2. C2. 60% is the maximum that can be impervious, so 40% has to be pervious. So um, the only thing that's impervious is the building in the concrete, building concrete pads, concrete and that's pad. not even close to 60%. Yeah, because we're even well, well, and the, and the, and the sure we comply. Yeah. Even the gravel is... Um, Gravel's, Gravel's okay. Considered yeah. purpose, okay. yeah. So they consider purpose. So we're good on I'm that. I'm just saying you can't yeah. go in and pave everything for all these for sale units. He's not yeah. planning. Yeah, well, no. What I'm just no, saying, just talking, few, just I'm thing. just clarifying yeah. this. Yeah. 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 So I, I, um, the public comments that were made, I have some of the same concerns and so sure. I've been thinking what can the planning board do to uh, to try to encourage and ensure that this is a that, that it's you know it's going to look like what we think it's going to look like and and I think that's where Roger's going that we need to, when we approve something it has to be in writing well I have that's just whether it's you or anybody else right and I have so, fence uh, material sitting at LNL fence he's been bugging me for over a week and a half to deliver it uh, for the posts, so we can get started on putting the fence up as soon as we get through. So I mean, the fence part's going up. I mean, there's no doubt there. Um, so uh, those are those would be certainly conditions we, oh, we put sorry. on there, and you know, part of um, it, you know that a business is run properly, we have to monitor it and stuff. But sure. ag again, when you have a dumpster and this trash sitting outside next to the dumpster. That doesn't give I put a box lot of faith that, in uh, how it's yeah. going to go in the future. 11.30 at night, I put a box out there that was so, for you. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm making it, some so. comments here, and um, you, you seem to have a response to everything. And I, I'm just clarifying it for that, you. That doesn't really help. Yeah. That really doesn't help. Um, so as uh, building inspector said, you know, working on the vehicles inside, that's, that's, legal. that's legal. That's what they're yeah. for. Yep. Um, I, again, you work on vehicles, there's oil and gas in these vehicles, they you have toilets in the vehicles, and we want to make sure that doesn't, that's not outside. Right. That's not disposed of outside. Um, I get, actually, that was a follow-up question that I had. What does these, um, the dump station look like? That's not depicted, really. It's, yeah. it's yeah, it's, it's just a little concrete space and you have it kind of angled so it goes into that drain and then there'll be a, some sort of a lock cap that they'll have on there so we can have a padlock so on there on the ground yeah so it's so it's a little bit up and when you make the pad it's just so it makes sure that if there's any spillage it goes right into there and then we'll have a spigot on the side of the building that we can hose down if, if for some reason somebody made a mess part part of your zba uh, permit i know that everything that was going to be stored uh, whether it be parts used vehicles or whatever was going to be behind the fence area was there any sort of uh, other conditions or any um, yes. wordage that if things get to be the outside of the fence? Um, There's to be no trailers that are there on the premises for being cannibalized for parts. Right. There's to be no parts, used part sale out of there for, in other words, take a trailer and strip all the parts off it and resell right. it. Okay. I think that was a topic of conversation. At the, well, at the let's plant. clarify that. It wasn't exactly as that said, because let's not make that misconstrued. We can sell used parts. What they don't want is trailers being parted out on the premises. Right. Or, in our case, we don't want anything ugly out front in the first place. So any repairs or storage of a trailer coming into the shop would be stored behind the fencing yeah. or inside the building. I can, I can see that if you have a trailer that you're going to work on is behind the fence, more than likely you'll see the top edge of the trailer. Possibly. Don't have a problem with that at all. Right. But down the road, it has nothing to do with you, but just a sure. visual thing, where there's a, a car business down the road that has an eight-foot fence, but they have school buses and junk piled, you know, high, yeah. so yeah. the <laughs> fence no, is no. useless. No. You know, and no. the same thing, I, you know, I yeah. don't know if there was any language, says that everything has it to says be out of sight. It says all damaged vehicles must be out of sight. Yeah, okay. That's the first condition on the permit. Inside building behind stockade fence. Yeah. Limited number of trailers for sale to 12 at any time. All signs okay. must conform to town bylaws. Hours of operation 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. seven days. Do you have that the, in front yeah. of you? Yeah. 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 No do. parting out of junk vehicles. Trailers. So this is where I guess I, again, I have an issue. It says uh, no parting out of junk vehicles. Um, all damaged vehicles out of sight. And last week, there was a very not 
I had a, I had a bread truck on the back of vehicle. my flatbed, and, and I had to take the truck bed. home late at night, so I left it there overnight. Okay, and, but and it's gone. It's it's not. So, there. so again, we we, we saw something. That's had, the fact. You have right. a, you have an excuse for it. So sure. next week, is that going to happen again? I don't have excuses anything else are, that needs to come no, in. We don't want excuses. <laughs> we want not. We don't want to have. No, I get that. Junk vehicles out in front. I get Period. that. Period. We don't want trash sitting next to the dumpster. You have excuses. That's not, but excuses don't work. I, I'm not trying to make an excuse. I'm just telling you what happened that night. And I'm going to be asking the dumpster company if they have a little bit better lids because those are plastic and there's a gap between the lids. And we've got a, something getting in there. I don't have a camera on that side of the building as of yet. Something's getting in there and pulling out bags of stuff. We had the same issue again this morning. But we had it dumped yesterday. No, actually, yesterday we had that problem. We had it dumped. So a uh, occupancy permit hasn't been granted yet, has it? Only for the inside of the building, not for the exterior. Right. Like anything else, you can use the inside, you can't use the outside without planning board. Hmm. Is there something else, sir? Well, I mean, how long are you going to want to go with the same thing? That's a very good question, Max. Uh, it's up to this board to regulate when that fence gets put up. Now, before he brings anything in there, after, during, uh, that's up to you guys. When the fence should be put in, when the drain should be fixed, and when he can start his outside operations. And when the plumbing can be done so that the sanding can can be. Right. The sandy can is going to be gone when the septic system is installed. Right. Correct. Absolutely. I'm well aware of that. Yeah. That's not a big deal. Right mm -hmm. now, as it stands with my contractor, he's wanting to cut concrete tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So hypothetically, you know, we're supposed to have a grand opening for October 7th. So I don't like those sandy cans myself or the odor related to them. So yeah. sandy can is going to disappear. And sandy can is actually required at this point for construction purposes. Mm -hmm. yep. So can't deny him that. But you can certainly say when the bathroom is finished, and it must be finished before he can mm -hmm. use the premises, the septic in the bathroom must be finished, mm -hmm. that the sandy can disappears immediately. And yep. That's, and that, that's simple. That company seems to be pretty well responsive. And I think one of the, one of the conditions we could put on right the get-go is that you know nothing would be brought onto the property as far as vehicles and stuff until that fence is in place. So. Outside of normal business hours. Period. No, nothing. So I can't park site. my own personal vehicle out front. No, no, no. no that, that's. that's not I just want clarification that. here. That's all. No, that's not. I'm talking about bringing in trailers. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, stuff like that. Because I do have customers coming and going, bringing in their trailer and out, but I'm making sure it has a space when it right. does. But that. the thing is, you've got a trailer in there and you're working on and you're waiting for parts. Another guy brings another trailer. Yeah, so you I'm not this one out and you put no. it outside. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're saying. I see what you're saying. Can, yeah, yeah, we're not operating. You can do what you need to do on the inside. Sure. But on the outside, you can't do anything until that fence is in place. No, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. And water provision, is that on the, what is, what is the water here? Well, it would be a well that'd be well. installed, yeah. Got to drill a well. Is that on here? Yep. Yep. It has a proposed well site. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, you can't give them an occupancy permit without water. Right. It falls, falls with this septic playing max, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. He's got to drill a well and he's got to put the septic in. So. And the well guy is ready as soon as we give him the word. That's uh, the same thing with septic. He, he, he can't start his business until he does the septic and he does the well and he does the fence. From what, this is what I'm gathering from what you guys are saying. And we didn't uh, hit on noise. What's the noise? That's all within the building? All the repairs? That's all I would expect. I mean, if we're doing any saw cutting and stuff like that, it's all inside the building. And, that has, um, and then you do have hours of operation. Yeah. If we were to do any repairs outside, it's minimal. I'm just going through some of the, the site plan review things that we, uh, and the, the light we looked at. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right, what do we say? Um, so we're still in a public hearing. Is there additional information we want? So we want a revised site plan. Um, 
and that can be put in conditions if, if that's you want to revise site plan another you, one yeah well um couldn't we just either that or to as built or something like we did the others because you don't want to have these things here and this whole drain thing's called changing yeah. so we want so I an wanna, as built plan um so i think we need to make the conditions that this is yep uh, that that pipe is going to be blocked this is going to be you don't call it leach field we go just leaching a, basin leaching but, basin but i think you need to put that in because it sounds like it's a regular catch basin and it That's doesn't leach whole, right so yeah, it'll just hold water. They I need think to you're right. destroy that and put in a leaching basin. Right. I think right. you're right because it's yeah. just like a, a simple like a manhole type thing with little squares in it. And yeah. it, it, it looks like there's water that like sits in there. Leach tank for septic, like a septic yeah. system. Yeah, yeah. Right right yeah. They can sever yeah. that pipe and yeah. put yeah. a leach hole bit right there. Three or four hundred gallons. Yeah, while they're yeah. already digging up the septic. Yeah. Yeah. That actually makes more sense than anything. Yeah. And then we get rid of those parking spaces. You can drive over that. Oh, yeah. So it's not a big deal. So I can have Cook remove the excess parking that we have still shown there. I can have him remove, I so, guess, essentially the drain in a sense of the word, even though we're not right. camping it. Well, and, uh, right, and not have this area drain outfall. Okay. That goes away. Yep. And you, and you make reference to that. Okay. If you're going to do something today with that plan and have him bring another plan, could you please mark this plan or somehow indicate on this plan today that like the what the changes we would yeah. like yeah I, I just like yeah. to see it in writing so there's no question you want me to get a, a highlighter for you these three parking spaces right yeah the three that's over the leach field yeah. there that little corner and then uh you just put right, create with leaching chamber. Yeah. Have keep, keep the same rim elevation because mm -hmm. the drainage works with that elevation now. So you want a highlighter, John, for that? Yeah, I mean this is blue. I mean you can see it. I just this well, is, let me go this is, And we also need to put it in words. I think too, if we're kind of. Well, we also need to have more than one marked up plan, so we both know what to do. Yeah. To so you're thinking of. Kind of like the what we have now, just pull up the dirt and just put the gravel so that so that lid still exposed like it is now. Is that what you're thinking? Is that what I'm grasping? Structure in that the the height is the same as it okay. is now. Okay. Yeah. So that yeah, so it goes back to our original. Okay. Same rim. Yeah. So your grading is all the same. It's mm -hmm. just you're going to have a different sure. vessel with the ground. Now. Right. Well, they might pick up the whole. It would be wise to do that, yeah. Areas, the whole area is going to rise. To it sounds like you're level. raising that whole area, right? Yeah. So, well, yeah. yeah. If we were to eliminate the drain, yes, it's because it, because it, it is so really, yeah. really. So probably a, pick a it up a little bit, so they might have to pick up the top of it. But, and right. you want to have a nice transition when the customer's coming in, because as is that driveway goes down just a little bit, and then you're talking about, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. you could just make sure you could, so we don't miss anything on the plan. So what else did we talk about here? Oh. And if, like Kip said, if you've got an area that you're going to do... What did you talk just, about here? No, can, I was just can saying... You just draw a line around it, so... No, you put, listen, create you, the leaching chamber anywhere. Block that pipe. Yep. Well, the, 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 no, we're saying create it here because that's the low point. Yeah. Well, well if they're going to regrade, they can make the low point can, where... Somewhere else, I guess. Yeah. Right. I, I just like the items clarified. So no, I understand what you want. I'm saying, Roger. Yeah. Just, yeah. We're going to have to but, deal with that later. Somehow. That way you don't have to run away and draw a new plan. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, I'll go over to Cook yeah. tomorrow. We can modify it. And then we ended up not saying any. This is all no, okay, That's right? okay, yep. And they could, you can delineate the customer yeah, part. If they're going to do it, yeah, I was going right, to say. Uh, right, right. I don't want any confusion in the office when they go to record this. Yeah. So delineate customer parking and uh, sales. Is that what you call it? You're calling yeah. it sales? Yeah. Yeah. Like outdoor sales parking, yeah. Display area, you could call and, it, I suppose. And right. where you have the gravel, if you just mark the gravel area as customer parking, that would be good. Okay. That's easy enough. I just don't want to get it confused with the gravel that goes behind the fence, though. That's the only thing. Well, there's That's no on the north side. Through. Right, well, customers won't go through your fence, yeah. I hope. They better not. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure anybody who picks this up can understand this. Right. 
Well, the question is, should we even approve it before it comes back? I mean, it's not very major. I mean, the contractor's ready to cut concrete tomorrow inside. I prefer that they take care of the front pad at the same time. May not remove it, but at least cut it. And uh, so we got to get the inside started here. Oh, sorry about that. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow will be Wednesday? Is Wednesday okay? Okay. All right, okay. Well, Lou just threw it at me, so. You share water? He's. Yeah. Oh, I see. I so see. we'll have to coordinate with the contractor. He's with, I forgot all about that, but it's up to the contractor to communicate there with him. Right. And then we can get that started. <laughs> so here, noted. <laughs> well, so enforcement is, so there's one thing to approve a plan. And, you know, there's certain things by right that the planning board, you know, can't do. We can encourage and this and that. And then monitoring is the other thing, and that comes down to, Well, that's you know, why the I want everything down. Right. And... If you were going to vote on this, and I'm just going to say, if you were going to vote on this, and if you were going to approve some things tonight with that plan and have them fix the plan and bring it back, I would ask you to tell him he can move forward at his own risk until you get that plan back and you guys yeah. do your final, does that make sense? Do your final stamp on the plan. Yeah. So. I mean, I don't want anybody to get held up, and I don't want anybody. To I know, but I also we don't want to be signing this with you know, well, X's no, and O's no, and things no. either. So um, you, under, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, a, no. So it doesn't drag on another month. Uh, well, because oh, the next meeting is not going to be until mid-September. So, September seventeenth uh, is the sixtieth day from the date that the application was made. Yeah. 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 So our next meeting I, would probably be like on the tenth or something. I because would, of the, and I can go to. The architect tomorrow and get that corrected and if he's available tomorrow to finish it which he's been really good about that there's no reason why i couldn't give it turn it into the office by friday well if that's the case then you could yeah. circulate it to all you members well that's the thing we don't necessarily have to have another meeting we just need to get no we just to need to, to each one of you to take done. a look we at just, it we've right. come down here we don't even have to all be together so we're sure done. we've done that before my only condition for enforcement at this point would be nothing brought in there until right okay the fence is up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah exactly so i don't want to have to go through phone calls uh, not that not that christopher that i'm mind you calling or anybody I'll call else you, i called you about it no, you I'm, called I'm, me too I'll, and i'll be public about it <laughs> no i know <laughs> and i but i the i don't want people meeting, calling up All right, so what do we... Uh... I know Max is a silent one over there. <laughs> so I, uh, I, I think we can probably move towards the closure of the public hearing at this point. Is there any other information yes. that we're going to... Yes. Uh, I have another quick question. Yep. Um, the silt area. So does that need to be out the silt area? Yeah. It needs to be up before cutting. Correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, the, the CONCON had the three things that they, uh, well, one was about the drainage thing, which now will change. Well, either way, we'll still, but, until uh, the drain is, is suffice, we'll still put the, put the, 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 the thing protection around, around it as well as around the perimeter regardless before anything outside. Uh, yeah. I mean, with the exception of possibly maybe cutting the concrete. But other than that, no, nothing's going to be moved until then. What do you mean about the cutting the concrete? they got to cut the concrete so at, when they're ready to, they can come in with a front end loader, remove that, the, the chunks. Because if the contractor's he's coming in to cut straight out from the building, right? Yeah, right. he's removing part of that. No, well, no, we're re we're removing the whole entire concrete, oh, the and we're reporting whole a whole new. Right, oh, we're redirecting it, make it look proper. So they've got to pre-cut it before they continue. Right, so we're just pre-cutting is, is the only thing. it basically so that then when the time comes to take it out, then they'll, they'll split into pieces. Right. What does this have to do with what the ComCon said? Well, That's he's asking when the silt when the silt barriers are going to be up, and I'm not. I don't think the silt barriers are needed if they're just scoring in the concrete. Right. Maybe they are. I don't know, but no. I think the silt but barriers. They do when they remove the when right. They're removing right. dirt. Correct. You know when the uh, when they're destroying right. the soil. Removing it are two different things. Yeah. Yep. All right. I just want to be clear. Anything else from the public? All right. Do you want to make a motion on closing the public hearing? 
I make a motion. Do, 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 you have, do you have anything else to add? You're, you're, I don't know if you're public or anything, but anyway. Gosh, we can't bring new information after. That's my bedtime. I know. <laughs> I make a motion that we close the public hearing for 707 Greenfield Road. Second. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. All right. Um, I'm trying to make notes since we need minutes here. All right, I would actually um, like to have uh, maybe have Pat Smith help us write up the decision. I feel like we have, um, we pretty much know what we want to say, but I'd like to make it sort of legal and organized because I feel like some of this hasn't been okay. up to this point. And how about if you contact um, Pat and have her write the decision? Yeah. He goes and gets this plan changed and gets it back to town hall that yep. we can come in and look at it and sign it and just instead of waiting until next month. Yeah. That's, that's, that sounds... Um, so let's... Should we have a motion for that or is that just a... I don't think we... That's a procedural kind of thing. And so then by us signing it is our, is our right. approving the decision. Yeah. Good. Well, yeah. If I, you want to take a vote, what we could do is we could add make a motion that we that we agree that if these changes are made on this site plan, that we'll come in individually and sign off on our agreement that you have Pat create for us, and we can pass it on to the applicant. Second. All those in favor? <laughs> That's easy. <right>. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. I like that. All right. Now, do, are I, we going to get that plan that you wrote on so that he knows what to tell his... His yes. In the, in the well, let's, let's let me take let me uh, no let me make my scribble on this plan. Okay. okay. So, so that we have matching. I think, John, I think you're saying to them the ball's in their court. Well, then your court. So you work. So well, I'll start drafting the decision. But um, yeah, and, but the and ball's we in their court to, to get the plan back. But you need to have the new markup possible. plan. That's right. Yeah. As soon as they get that. Right. Is it pretty good? Yep. Come out and you can pull it right up and we can read. You can see all the things. All right. So why don't you email that around to us? All right. So you take this. You were Kepler. He just took a picture. Who's going to deal with Pat Smith? I'm going to deal with Pat Smith. So I'll be talking to you. Yep. So I, if when the paperwork comes back and stuff, I'll just give you a call if it comes in here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll be in touch on. With and the, he's going to. Yeah, if you can it makes, yeah, if you can follow through in the office. Yeah, if he comes in, I'll just kind of, I'll just leave you a message. No, it's supposed uh, to get it done, but they're going to tell us what they want on it. So. Well, I'm still making notes. Yeah, but. <laughs> Sean, do you want me to um, send you an instant message on this one? I'd rather emailed. Okay. I'll wait till I get home. Here. I don't think I have your email address here. So I'm going to, so you take this one. Okay. Um, I'll leave this one to you, and he's going to email them. I'll give that to Priscilla tomorrow. Oh, she's not in tomorrow. Um, so we're eliminating your pipe. Um, the, the delineate customer and sales parking. Right. Three of those three spaces. Actually, it's going to be one, two, and three. So it's not this one over here. It's one, two, and three. Yeah. Oh, so this one stays? Right. So you have one, is it on the two, le leach field? Or? Three. Well, yeah, it's still over the leach field, which is going to be fine because it'll be pipe that's allowed to be driven over. Oh, okay. So you eliminate one, two, and oh, three. So then you have, so you have, so yeah. one is, uh, okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, 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 stop. No, I jumped there's, over this one. Yeah. There's an island. That's pu public. Right over here. All right. All right, good. All right, and, and we always do encourage all of our uh, applicants to talk to their neighbors, inform them what's going on. That's always very helpful. I like to hear you're working together on the water. Who's cutting your concrete? Um, the guy who's on our. Um, 
construction on a Lou tail, tail construction. So this is that's existing. All right. So you want to get you can get that to you. That should stay here. This too. is marked up. Yeah. I'll leave that on for seller's desk. All right. All right. Thanks for coming, guys. Remind me what days are working. Any other uh, business before the board? No. Nope. I make a motion to adjourn. All those in favor? I. I will jot up some minutes. When's our next meeting? Based on our memory of what, uh, what occurred. So yeah, actually, it's the second. The first Monday is um, Labor Day, so our next meeting will be the second Monday. Since that you can't make that, but hopefully the other three, two of the other three. Other business coming up. Just a meeting. Not that I know of, but it'll probably be something. I, I gotta want to add something to that. The to our next agenda. Well, I want to add. Suggest you add something. To, can you go back to the height scenario? I mean, I, I keep this keeps bouncing back and forth. Okay, can you go back to the height scenario? And we had a bylaw for the uh, farmers for potentially growing marijuana in the residential agricultural district. Can you? Can I give you what information I had on that? I thought we. Well, you did, but you never, you never moved it forward. Yeah, I thought there was a reason for that. Yeah, the reason for that died. was the state was changing the regulations. And they haven't. Have they come up with new no, ones yet? Yeah, they 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 approved the recreational. So we need to you need to do you need to allow them to grow. Are we done with us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're Sorry. Okay. Yep. Okay. We're finished. All we decided on is medical. Right. Because I had several farmers requesting that that happened. So, can you talk about that at your next meeting? Let's all right. right. I'll put it on the agenda, yeah. and then. But again, this is something that I think it's not just. We have to do all the research and stuff ourselves. We got to see what's going on in the state and other towns. Yeah, and well, that's exactly yeah. what I want you to yeah. talk about. But we want to. We need give to give you some information eventually. we have gotten so far, all right. so all that right. you can you can start to review that. All right. All right. I got them on the next agenda. Thank you. We are adjourned.